just been a fantastic year for West Coast Eagles and uh, female football and the development of our academy, getting the high performance really to the standard it needs to be for the girls and bringing not only the players but also the staff to be introduced to female football and hopefully that will carry on into AFLW. They would come very enthusiastic, compare notes, challenge each other, raise the intensity. Like There was just so many good things to like about it. The program's progressed really well and the development in their skill but in their talk and uh, despite it being an academy and all these girls coming from the different Waffle W clubs, they really gelled as a team. Well, ECU is really supportive of growing the game in the female space, not only uh, in sports science but also in coaching pathways. So for Nikki to be involved in our female academy program, she's the East Fremantle head coach, coach at the Collingwood AFLW before. It was a really uh, great opportunity for her to now be involved in our men's program for 10 weeks. So for the Alex Jezelenko Scholarship, um, it's just a 10 week program where I've just come to learn as much as I can from Adam Simpson and all the, the coaches, the players. Like I go and interact with the players as, as much as I can, kicking footies to them. I'll stand next to people like Sam Mitchell and Jamie Graham and just try and learn as much as I can from them. Uh, Nikki's been great, yeah, really energetic and enthusiastic about her role um, and involvement here at West Coast. You know, her experience within football as a player and as a coach at East Fremantle. So uh, she'll be someone, no doubt, the club will have uh, in its sights, I'm sure, once 2020 comes around. Well, I probably deal with about 60 girls at the moment with the, the whole senior squad, so I've almost got to have 60 different personalities in me to try and deal with 60 different players. So because some players don't respond well to directness, you've got to take a softer approach. So yeah, so that's, that's a challenge, but it, it's a good challenge. When you talk to the players from the academy and learn what they've learnt from her, it's quite astonishing how she's revered and held in such high regard. She gets the best out of them as people, let alone as footballers, so she's just an outstanding person. And I think if we can keep nurturing her in the coaching space, she'll end up being a head coach at AFLW level. The reason for this station is to practise our change of direction and our deceleration, OK? So that's the number one cause of ACL injuries in AFL footy. So Olivia and I have uh, been employed to put in place an ACL program. Uh, we've both experienced the injury, which is not much fun, so we've got that background as well as the theoretical background we've uh, developed through our studies at ECU. The main focus of it was to educate the girls on the importance of injury prevention. Well, it was great to have the support from Adam Selwood and the program to really focus on uh, injury prevention and the ACL injury prevention. We thought it went really well. Through the poles without touching the poles. I don't want any big sidesteps here. 30 minutes is dedicated towards each training session where Eric and Olivia have brought the knowledge from ECU and where they've uh, developed a really sound and strong program for the girls to follow to filter back into their own waffle clubs. So these girls have just embraced the whole program and there's been good results out of it so far. Having the new AFLW is going to create many jobs uh, for people like myself and Eric, those graduates have studied sports science, opening up many doors for them. And then obviously us getting to have this great experience with the men's team, uh, hopefully being able to apply that to the women's and obviously lift the standard yet again. Olivia's research brain is incredible. She's always thinking of different exercises to put in because she understands the gaps of the girl's technique. It's quite exciting that such a young woman will have such a huge positive influence on what we put on the grass in 2020. It's fantastic to have the, um, the, the West Coast High Performance Academy this year. It was an honour to be involved and with people like Jan Cooper and Adam Selwood at the helm, I think it's in a really good position going forward. We'll have players signed in April, uh, which will be really exciting to have our first ever female footballers as part of this football club. And then another High Performance Academy program will run to ensure that the girls are conditioned, uh, they're at the level that they need to be to uh, fulfil season one for us. Thank you.